This tutorial will guide you through building a sophisticated SQL agent that can generate, validate, and refine SQL queries automatically. The agent uses multiple AI models to ensure query correctness and iteratively improves until a valid solution is found. Workflow Architecture The SQL agent consists of eight interconnected components. 1. Start, initialize the flow. 2. Get DB schema. Retrieve database structure. 3. Generate SQL query. Create initial SQL query 4. Check SQL query. Validate query syntax and logic 5. Run SQL query. Execute the query 6. Check result. Validate query results 7. Regenerate query. Improve the query if needed 8. Return. Response. Provide final answer. Now, let's begin to create our agent. Step 1. Initialize the flow. The input type is chat input. We add a flow state with key query and value, bar. This captures user input and initializes the conversation state for tracking the SQL generation process. Step 2. Get database schema. We add a custom function. For the configuration, we add a JavaScript function that establishes database connection and retrieves the complete schema structure, including tables, columns, relationships, and constraints. Key features include configurable database connection parameters, schema introspection capabilities, error handling for connection issues. This can be generated from chat GPT or Claude. Rename the node as GetDB schema. Step 3. Generate SQL query. Next, we add an LLM, which we rename as Generate SQL Query. Select the model as Claude Anthropic. Select the credential and then the model name. We then add a message, the role is system, and the content is what we see here. The relevant table info here is the output from GetDB schema, which is custom function agent flow zero. The LLM is supposed to only generate one SQL query. Add a JSON structured output with key as SQL query, type as string, and description as SQL query. Add update flow state with key as query, and value as output.sql query, which is the structured output we just created. This node generates the initial SQL query based on the user's natural language request and database schema. Step 4. Check SQL query. We add a condition agent and rename as check SQL query with model as chat open AI. Select the credential and the model name. The instruction is what you see here. The input is flow.state.query. Scenario 0 is SQL query is correct and does not contain mistakes. And scenario 1 is SQL query contains mistakes. This validates the generated SQL query for syntax errors, logical issues, and common SQL pitfalls. Step 5. Run SQL query. We add a custom function and then a loop node, which we will configure later. For this, the input variable name is SQL query, and variable value is flow.state.query. The JavaScript function here executes the validated SQL query against the database and captures results or error messages. Rename node as run SQL query. Step 6. Regenerate SQL query. For the loop node, we rename as regenerate query. Select loop back to check SQL query. Maximum loop count is 5. Step 7. Check result. Next, we add a condition agent and rename as check result. Select chat Mistral AI as chat model. Select the credential and model name. The instruction is, you are a SQL expert. Check if the query result is correct or contains error. Change the input to output from run SQL query, which is custom function agent flow one. For the scenarios, scenario zero is, Result is correct and does not contain error. And scenario one is, result query contains errors. This analyzes the query execution results to determine if they meet the user's requirements or contain errors. Step eight, return response. Next, we add two LLM nodes. For the first LLM, we select the model as chat Google generative AI, select the credential and model name, then rename as return response. The input message here is output from run SQL query, which is custom function agent flow one. Return response as user message. 
This formats and returns the final response to the user with the query results or appropriate error messages. Step 9. Regenerate SQL Query For the next LLM, we rename as Regenerate SQL Query. Select the model as Chatanthropic. Select credential and model name. Add a message with role as system and input as what you see here. The relevant table info is the output from the GetDB schema, which is custom function agent flow zero. The input message here will be, given the generated SQL query, select flow.state.query. I have the following error. Select the output from run SQL query, which is custom function agent flow underscore one. Add a JSON structured output with key as SQL query, type as string and description as SQL query. Add update flow. State with key as query and value as output.sql query. This node regenerates improved SQL queries when errors are detected, using the error feedback to create better solutions. Step 10. Loop control. Add a loop node and rename as recheck SQL query. Select loop. Back to check SQL query. And then set the max loop count to 5. This implements iterative refinement with a maximum of five attempts to generate a correct SQL query. We then save as SQL agent and then we validate the flow and there are no issues. Now we configure the database connection. So you see my database has two tables, customers and employees. Let's head back and ensure the database credentials are properly configured. In your JavaScript function, change the username, password, database and port number to match your database. Also check your run SQL query JavaScript function and do the same. Now we can go ahead to test this agent. We input the prompt. What are the tables in the database? And we see how the agent processes this and we see the results are employees and customers. Next we try, add a new table called records with date time and location as schema. We see how the agent processes this, and we see the result here. Now we will type the prompt again. What are the tables in the database? And this time we see it has been updated to employees, customers, and records. This SQL agent provides a robust foundation for natural language to SQL conversion with built-in validation and refinement capabilities. The multi-model approach ensures high accuracy while the iterative design handles edge cases effectively. The modular architecture allows for easy customization and extension based on specific requirements. Whether you're building a business intelligence tool, data analysis platform, or general purpose SQL assistant, this framework provides the essential components for success. Don't forget to like and subscribe.